Hey guys, Tyler here from Business Career College. I wanted to send you a quick message this week to encourage you to get through the AlloQP course. This is my little pep talk. One, study in the form of blocks. I found that the blocks method works exceptionally well and we're getting great re results. What is the block method? Easy. Divide up the day into three sections. Morning, afternoon, evening. Each one of those is a block. If you want to get through this course on a part-time basis, do one block a day, five days a week. Simple. You're going to get through the course in about two months. If you want to get through this course on a full-time basis, do two blocks a day. Okay? That's ten blocks a week. You're going to get through the course in approximately one month. There's really no reason that it should take longer than two months to get through this whole course. Okay? If you are taking it longer than that, you are making it unnecessarily more difficult for yourself, which, well, is unnecessary. <laughs> So during that block, how do you spend your time? One, don't read the textbook cover to cover. One, it's poorly written. It's as dry as eating a bowl of baking flour. This is not the method that most people learn. If you're somebody who enjoys reading textbook, and I am aware that there are those people out there. I am not one of those people, but they exist. If you're one of those people, by all means, read the textbook cover to cover. If you're one of those people that bought the textbook in hard copy because you like to highlight, you like to make notes and all that, by all means, if you know your study habits and that's you, do you. Okay? If this is brainwashing from years of, of uh, public education system or university and college and you must read the textbook before doing the test, let's think about overriding the system. Okay? So my proposal is to start off by writing the test. Before you even open the textbook, before you have any idea what the content is wrote, start with a mock exam. Okay? This is going to tell you what you know and what you don't know. Then focus on what you don't know. With the mock exam, there is a breakdown of the rationale of all the questions. What answer is correct, why that answer is correct, which answers are incorrect, and why they are incorrect. I have it both written out as well as videos. You can click on the links. I have over 3,000 YouTube videos that you can watch to explain the content, explain the questions. Focus on what you don't know, because obviously what you know, you know. So let's bypass that part. Let's prioritize your study. So step one, write the mock exam. Step two, data input. Right? This is where you're going to learn. This is where you're going to read the rationale, you're going to watch the videos. This is where, yeah, you're going to open up the textbook. Right? Definitely focus on the examples within the textbook. Those are those little case studies, the stories that are going to say, hey, this is what this section is about, this is what we're talking about in a real life scenario. If it makes sense, great, move on. If it doesn't, maybe focus and read a little bit more into that chapter. At the end of the block, I want you to focus on doing what I call a total recall. It's using what's referred to as the retrieval method in cognitive science. Okay? I want you to pull out Right? You did the data input, now you're going to pull out that information. Grab a blank piece of paper, write in complete sentences, everything that you can remember from the last few hours. And keep in mind, a block is anywhere from two to four, maybe five hours. Right? It's that time between breakfast and lunch. It's that time between lunch and dinner. It's that time between dinner and bedtime. Okay? So we've got three blocks to choose from. So at the end, do that total recall, complete sentences, and write down not just, I want to remember what whatever is, Write down exactly the details. Imagine you're going to take this piece of paper and you're going to slide it to yourself as a cheat sheet when you're writing your exam. Because you kind of are, except you're not handing the actual piece of paper. It's going to be in here. You've learned the information, you've recalled the information, and now you've got this cheat sheet. You can proof it before you go to write your exam. Okay? That's my suggestion. There are some changes that are occurring in the ethics textbook. We've got about 20 pages of changes in regards to FinTrack. I've made note of that in this email that you're getting. If you're watching this video as a standalone and not getting my weekly email, sorry. <laughs> uh, so I do have pictures of that. Also, uh, Assurus is changing their percentages and the amounts in regards to what they cover. But also keep in mind that's not going to take effect on the provincial exams until April 1st. Okay, so April 1st, 2023, that's when those effects are going to take in case. Right now, that's still three months away. Studying this even on a part-time basis, this should not be an issue for you. You can still power through with the content that you know. Anywho, I hope you guys have a great day. hope you guys are doing lots of studying. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on Tuesday when we're going to be covering segregated funds and annuities. Talk to you then.